Today's project is this 13 inch Sony Trinitron Color TV from 1986. This is a model KV1365 and this is a lower end TV from Sony. This is not a remote set. It's just your basic TV with a green LED channel readout and push button channel entry and traditional rotary type controls for brightness, color, etc. And the problem with this TV is it has a great picture but it has absolutely no audio. And I'd like to see what's wrong with that real quick. One thing about this TV, it does have AV input jack so you can use it with a DVD player or, or whatever. In fact that's the main reason I'm repairing this is to have something something to test DVD players out with. I've got a friend that buys stuff to resell and he's all the time getting DVD players at yard sales and he really don't know how to test them out so he just brings them over here and and I'll tell him if they work or not. But anyway I believe our problem is right here in this area. This is the audio output circuit and this is of course, this is the lead that comes from the speaker back to the audio output transformer. And then here is our audio output transistor with a couple of driver transistors here. So let's take some voltage measurements and see if we can find out why this thing has no sound. Okay, we've got the set powered up and checking the voltage on the primary winding of the audio output transformer reveals that we have absolutely nothing. And most likely what's happened here is a fusible resistor has opened up that supplies voltage to the audio output circuit and most likely what caused that is a shorted output trans transistor. So let's see if my theory is correct. And this transistor is shorted in every possible way it can be shorted so so far my theory is proving to be correct and here's the fusible resistor in question on one side of it that goes to the audio output circuit we have zero volts and on the other side we have 136.2 volts so that confirms that that resistor is open so my theory was correct. Okay, the fusible resistor that was open turned out to be an 82 ohm and I've already secured a replacement from my stash and this audio output transistor is a see here 2SC2383 so we'll look that up in our NTE cross-reference and see what a suitable replacement would be and a 2SC2383 cross references to an NTE31. So let's look up an NTE31 and see what that is. And an NTE31 is a NPN silicon transistor, TV sound output, TV vertical output, or AF driver output. And I'm sure I have something around here somewhere that will work, so we'll just have to dig through my stash and see what I can come up with. And right now would probably be a good time to check these other two driver transistors in the event that they uh, took a dump when the audio output transistor shorted. It's important that, especially in these solid state sets, that you check everything around a particular failed component because all it takes is one missed component to cause new parts to blow up and don't ask how I know that so I would like to try to prevent that from happening if, if at all possible and it's a good thing I checked because the transistor that goes right here was also shorted which cross references to an NTE32 so now we have to find something that's the equivalent of an NTE 31 and a 32. Okay, back on our 13 inch Sony TV. I uh, just received the correct transistors in the mail that we need to prepare this set. 
and we'll now install those transistors and see what happens. And here are the transistors right here in these little bags here. Okay, we now have the new transistors and the 82 ohm resistor installed. We have the DTV converter box connected to the connected to the TV and our TV plugged into the isolation transformer. So let's turn it on and run the smoke test and see what happens. Hopefully we'll have sound. What do you know? We have audio. That's nice. Now let's put it all back together and see what it looks like. Okay, we're all back together and working very nicely. You see, it's got a very nice picture on it, and I haven't even adjusted anything. Six and ourselves super crispy and like. Jaguars put in a sub. Prepare to laugh. No, I mean, it's like, I got, I got, put it to, okay, very neat table. Plenty of audio. It's a strong table. Strong table. We got put And I just noticed that sometime during this procedure I lost the button here that, that changes the television from standard off the air to video mode. So I've got to look around on the floor and see if I can find that. Find the button. You're over him. He's just a friend. No. I'm... No. So you decided not to date him? Don't know what I'm going to do with this TV. I might hang on to it, or I might send it with my friend to the flea market to see if he can get a few dollars for me out of it. But as snooty as a lot of people have gotten now, this, this TV here wouldn't be flat enough for them, so I might as well just keep it and use it for my own use. Because when you can't get no more than... 10 or 15 dollars for a used television even though one works this well it's just really not worth the effort of trying to fix one for resale anymore so, so I guess it is what it is but let's see if I can find this button and then I'll put this thing back together okay we're all put back together and fortunately I located the source select button here. It had just fallen off and hit the floor. So I'll turn it on and we'll give it one last test. Is that why you called me? To tell me you were with Karen because you didn't have to. It's very clear. I am not. Yeah, yeah, we have to. You hear that Enrique's effect. Just being long down on the block. Orland. She's been through a lot of phases and uh, a lot of men. Yeah, you gotta love this digital TV, how it just freezes up and pixelates and drops out, and it's just totally unwatchable. In the old days with analog, I could pick up this channel with no antenna on the back of the TV. No antenna connected at all. Of course, it was snowy, but it was still watchable, and now with digital, we get this. Well, it's caused him ownership. That's correct, we'll go to the wild. We can choose any city of Real Housewives to watch. God, Julia, really? Coming from okay, there you go, my repaired 13-inch Sony Color TV. Frank. 
think I've taken up enough of your time, so I will say goodbye for now and more to come later.